Simplifying negative radicals in exponent form. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is notice that when we have a negative exponent, you need to put it, uh, put this whole thing uh, below 1, basically. So you change it into a fraction. Now when you move this exponent down like this, okay, then the exponent becomes positive. Okay, so if we had a negative exponent in the denominator, we would then move it up and then it would become positive up here. So that, that's all the negative means. Okay, so now we just reduce this as if it was um, just by itself. Okay, so we need to convert this to mixed numbers here. So 7 halves becomes 3 and 1 half. Okay, and then to simplify this even more, uh, you can what you can do is you can break this up. So you can make it 5 to the third over here and 5 to the 1 half power. Okay. So now for every whole number, okay, we leave that outside the square root sign and for every fractional we put it underneath. And this is the final answer.